Hey guys, do you want to find out how to easily generate all kinds of music locally on your PC or how you can remix any song with the help of AI? So that for example you can turn this into this. Then you've come to the right place as I'm now going to show you how you can do all of that. First, I'll briefly show you how to install AudioCraft Plus, which will then allow us to generate music and a sequence of music. And lastly, we'll have a look at the two different methods to remix any song with the tool. In the video description, you will find the link for a tool called Pinocchio, which allows you to install AudioCraft with just one click. If you need help with the installation, you can watch this video. It will also show you how to use AudioGen, which is a component of AudioCraft that allows you to generate sound effects. Once you have the tool installed and when the web UI opens, we start in the Music Gen tab. And for generating basic music, all you need to do is enter your prompt, set the duration of the song and click on Generate. The first time you're running the tool or whenever you switch to a model in the settings for the first time, AudioCraft will download the necessary files in the background. Let's have a listen at our epic rock ballad. If you're not happy with the result, you have three options. You can either generate the same prompt again with another seed. You can specify the prompt in more detail or you can tweak the settings. Here's a comparison of the same prompt with different seeds so you can get an idea of how differently it may sound. If you want to write more specific prompts, you can find some example prompts for inspiration on this website, which you can find in the video description. In the settings tab of the tool, you have many options to adjust, which will have a large influence on how the generated music will sound. For example, you can change the output to mono or to stereo effect, which will add more like an echo in a large hall. So I suggest to keep it set to stereo, even though it may not be real stereo. Here, you can select the model used to generate music. And besides small to large models, which are each trained on a different number of parameters, you also have the melody model, which is the only model that works with one of the two methods that we will use to generate remixes. And here's a comparison of the different models with our rock ballad. You can also change the default decoder to the multi-band diffusion, which uses diffusion to generate music. But whenever I tried to compare the two, they sounded exactly the same. Down here, you can change the temperature and higher temperature values will lead to more random and diverse outputs that have greater variability and creativity, but also less coherence and structure. Lower temperatures will lead to more deterministic and focused outputs and to more repetitive and predictable music. Similar to stable diffusion, you can also use your own custom models. And if you want to find out more about all the settings, I advise you to check out the excellent wiki, which is built in right in the tool. I really hope that becomes standard for all AI tools. Now we will generate a music sequence and to do so in the generation tab, we expand the structure prompt section and we could change the beats per minute as well as the key and scale, but I'm going to leave it as it is and we'll first enable the structure prompts. Then enter a global prompt, set the total number of prompts that we want. I'm going to set it to four and then I'll enter all those four prompts. And the way this works is that in the background, the global prompt gets added to all other prompts. Now we set the duration to 40 and the overlap to 5. The overlap determines how long each segment will reference the previous segment. The times for each sequence cannot be set manually and instead we need to have the tool calculate them by clicking on calculate timings. And as you can see, the times that are calculated don't make much sense. And the reason for this is that the first sequence is always 30 seconds long and the other segments will be 30 seconds 
minus the overlap. That means our total time was too short, so we set it to 100, which means that the last segment will be cut 5 seconds short. Then we calculate the timings again and generate the song. As you could hear, it's not perfect, as for example it didn't really sound like a reggae track, but overall it does what it's supposed to do. If you want to, you can download the outputs as mp4 or as WAV file, but you don't have to, because all generated files will be stored in this folder automatically. Now for remixing existing songs, we have two modes or methods that we can use. The first is the melody method, which teaches the music generator to use the melody of the input song as a guide. This method only works with the melody model and didn't always detect the melody in the songs that I tried. The second method is the sample method, where the model uses a sample of a song to generate the continuation of the song. This works with any model and I haven't found an input song where this method didn't work. So let's have a look at the sample method first. To do so, we need to switch to the audio tab and make sure that sample is selected here. Then we can drag and drop our input audio file and you should be familiar with the input audio file that I'm using for this example. Next, we need to tell it how much of the song should be trimmed and replaced by the newly generated music. We set it to 5 seconds so that we remix half the input audio file. We then switch back to the generation tab, enter our input text and hit generate. For the second method, we switch the input audio mode to melody and we set the trim end back to zero. By the way, you can also use your microphone as input and even whistle a melody that will be remixed. And if you click on generate while not having the melody model selected, you will get an error. So we switch to the settings tab and select the correct model and then hit generate. The obvious advantage of this method is that, as you could hear, the entire song or file will be remixed. And as long as it properly detects the melody of the input audio file, it's gonna sound pretty good. Another cool feature is that you can just drag output files in the audio info tab, which will show you all the prompts and settings used to generate that file. And by the way, the sample method works great with most songs and not just simple melodies like the one you just heard. Here's two remixes using the sample mode with a song you might know. <laughs> I also tried this song with the melody method, which wasn't very successful at all. So there you go, you can now generate your own kind of music or generate your own remixes. Should you make anything cool with this tool, I would love to see it. So if you want to, please drop a link in the comments below. And that's it for today. In case you learned anything new, please like, share or subscribe. And I'll see you next time.